So, where last we left off, the party had been split in two with half the party, Lithram, Araza, and Staz, working within the city of Garachan to try and figure out exactly what was going on, help where they could, and investigate those dangling threads. The house in Mother's Milk that has some sort of connection to things, uh, that had sent letters to Grey Charlie, the death of Grey Charlie uh, in his in his prison cell, uh, the bodies of those who have previously been turned to the undead, and uh, the individual people who have thus far gotten sick. And so that part of the that group of the party was dealing with that situation, while the other group headed to the orc camp. Uh, the Dybbuk clan camp, where you, uh, this would be Kitty and Thorold, you successfully negotiated return of the half of the food, or at least what was left of it, uh, in exchange for the coins, though those coins were subsequently returned to you when the Orc Lord arrived the next morning. And Orcs began turning undead, uh, passing away overnight, um, the weaker among them and turning and then briefly you met with Alistair Divick, the Orc Lord, who did not seem too pleased with the food stealing that had taken place, and usurped his brother almost immediately. And in the aftermath of that, that battle, Thorold and Kitty and Riley, who had come with you, are getting ready to leave and head back to the town. And uh, as you are getting ready and affixing horses to carts to start taking that food back, whether you're going to eat it or simply have it as a mean, something to study uh, and verify that it is, in fact, the source of infection. Either way, the food is yours. And so you start lashing that together and preparing to leave. And is there anything that, uh, that either of you would like to do before you head out along the road? <clears throat> um... You buy a potluck. That's about it. Yeah, Kitty, you uh, you say bye to Potluck, have a have a brief meeting with him. Um, he wishes you well along the road, uh, and uh, yeah, all right, that sounds good. What about you, Thorold? Um, I'm actually going to try and speak briefly with uh, Alistair again. Uh, um, yeah, as, as you're getting ready, um, uh, the Orc Lord Alistair Dibbick does come over to check on things and. As he does so, he's looking to make sure everything's in order. You draw him into conversation. He says, uh, yeah, sure, sure, Thorold. Uh, what can I do for you? <clears throat> Part of this, of our mission, was to try and secure edible food for the town, which... Which we're not sure me. that this is, uh, this is going to qualify. Yes, mm-hmm. um... We do have money. Yeah. I thought it was worthwhile asking the clan, the tribes don't happen to have any uh, any small amount of food available to try and send back to the town anyway. We would be able to buy it. I know you probably don't have a lot in reserve, but whatever you did, if there was anything that could be bought. Now, are are you authorized to uh, to make a deal there, Thorold? Because I'm, I'm willing to entertain this. I, I'm willing to, to see what we can do for you. But at the same time, Garakan is presumably a part of the Empire. That's who they originally purchased these, these foodstuffs from. Are, uh, are you authorized to uh, negotiate this, this sort of arrangement? I kind of feel like any deal with the... Isn't the Empire trying to poison Karakin? For me, at least on my end, fuck the Empire is personally where I'm coming from at this point. I was not not given permission to do such a deal. Nobody told me and, not to. And more to the point, I'm not sure how... Uh, if it's a choice between having money and no food, or having... No money, none of the money returned, or at least only some of the money returned, and at least some of the, some food. Uh, I get it, I get it. It's a, it's a desperate situation, desperate measures, yes. and the like. Uh, I'd be lying if I if I said that uh, we weren't looking to have somewhat more amicable relations with 
surrounding towns and the like, those, even those ostensibly a part of the Third Dragon Empire. Um, all right. All right, we'll, we'll take your money. I'll see what I, I'll, I'll see what I can do. We can probably wrangle up something. But you've got to smooth things over on, on your end. Make sure that they understand it's coming. Make sure that we're not greeted with slings and arrows. Can you do that, Thor? Yeah. Yes. I want to make every effort to make sure that you're greeted amicably and with uh, the hospitality, uh, hospitality you deserve. No. But I didn't know better that... That you deserve part would sound a little bit ominous there, Thorold. <laughs> no, I meant as as someone who is a leader, you deserve respected hospitality. All right, I'll see what I, I didn't mean that ominously. We'll uh, we'll take the coin. We'll I'll meet you know, with some of the other clans. Listen to me is being ominous. That normally happens when I'm in the Dragon Empire making deals, where it's like. Like, I will return in three days, and then all of a sudden, and they have a lot more weapons in the third day, I come back. Yeah, see, that's sort of why I'm a, a, a bit nervous about waltzing up in there. Yes. Um, all right. All right. Well, that sounds good. Actually, uh, before you leave, I I did want to want to mention one other thing, thing to you, Thorold, and that's, uh, well, obviously... You know, we're we're nine clans and uh, not particularly well liked outside of our our own clans, particularly in the Empire. And well, nine clans against an Empire is not much, but it's especially insufficient if well, if our promising youths tend to look for greener pastures. And I uh, I'm not sure if you're you're up for it, but you're welcome back if you'd care to rejoin rejoin your clan. Albears could use you. <clears throat> oh, I'm I'm honored. Uh but uh There's no honor, you were born to it. I uh I have responsibilities that I've committed myself to for the at least immediate future. So uh Hope once I, uh, I am cleared of those responsibilities, then uh, yes, yeah, so I'd be good to return uh, and take a bit of a break. But uh, all right, until those are sorted out. Uh, I guess the only other thing is I, I did I mentioned before that I I did know your daddy. Um, I probably you were just a kid when he when he passed. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, uh, he probably didn't talk to you about it. He was near the end there. He he had a particular obsession uh, with with Cloudspire, he, and then the Lich King said that uh, the Lich King was doing something to Cloudspire itself. What exactly that was, I I'm not sure he knew either, but it had him concerned. Presume to know what you'll do with that information, but I figured I'd share that. Well, at least he was on his mind. Mm. Thank you. Uh, Safe travels. Safe travel. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Can... Fortune smile on you as well. Ah, mm. uh, we'll see about that. Uh, we'll head back. We to don't pick the easy paths. No, but we can sure pick the fun ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the, uh, the the group heads out, traveling back towards Garak, and you travel throughout the day uh, with the food stuff in tow. You do have to rest on the on the way back, and then you'll arrive the next morning and be able to meet up with the rest of the party as you get back to Garak. So we'll jump oh, back to Garak. Yeah. Can we uh, say that the food is covered like real well, like? Sealed up. Don't freaking snatch a piece while we're not looking. Okay. Yeah, sure. You you have that. However, you also are traveling for a day on the roads, and you have to eat. So, I have food. I don't have go ahead. 
go ahead and mark some of your food off, and then each of you give me a saving throw. A normal saving throw? No, normal save, yeah. Failure for Thorold. Yeah, not my best day. Reduce that number by two. Okay. Sure. Me too. Uh, reduce that number by seven. Oh. And you're platinum, kitty. Jesus. As each of you... Uh, ne- neither of you is at zero yet, right? No. Okay. That's fine. Mostly. Find a way to make it go back up. Um, you, uh... Did, uh... Did any of the rest of you see the map of the orc camp? Wait, this go around or last go around? This this go around today. Oh, the... Oh, no. Then no. You know, when, when y'all are having that chat, that conversation, I was... Okay. I was intending to be on this page. I was moving tokens around, but it, uh, Couple whoops. Here and now. Uh, Kitty, and now we're gone. In addition to her food, <laughs> lights up some fireweed for the, the walk back. Okay. Sounds good. As, uh, as we are heading back to the town, let's see how everybody there is doing. So let's go ahead and have Lithrum, Staz, and Araza. Each of you roll me a save. Uh, uh, reduce that number in platinum by four for you, Stas. Lithrum, you're fine. And Araza, getting a little bit worse if you'll reduce your platinum by seven. So that'll go from 20 down to 13. A little? That's not a little, that's a lot. It's a, it's a decent amount. It was a bad roll. It happens. Let's see how the other people in town are doing. Let's start with... Uh, Wait, I'm sorry, Joey. Did you say reduce my platinum down to seven or by seven? By seven. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's reduce it by seven. All right, last time. Sickness had spread through the poorest district, the district of Doneski. It's spread now to the heart and to Turin. more and more people are falling back on having to eat food that they've purchased in the last uh, last day. Um, the district with uh, the richest people who had larders of food, less people are getting ill there, but people are starting to get ill everywhere, and so we got a whole bunch more people who are now susceptible. So, let's start rolling for them. Alright. Um, that would be our fireweed merchant, um, Harvey, is got a little bit under the weather. Uh, Yun Arapasha is fine. Eco is fine. Let's see how Constable Dorov is doing. Our third, uh, it's uh, it's not looking so great for the um, for the law enforcement in the town as the constable is ill. Let's check the Burgomeister. Yeah, she's sick too. Yeah. Uh, let's check Shumulaka next. Oh, no. Six. I did have to beat this way, man. <laughs> uh, and then let's check um, Sylvanestra. Yeah, she was already she's hurt. fine. She's fine. All right, now let's check the people who are already sick and see if they worsen or perish. Uh, let's start off with Philarin. Rolling twice and taking the higher. Philarin uh, is fine. He does not worsen. Next for Cobalt Stam. Likewise. Does not worsen. The Fireweed helping both of those. Now for Yar. He's fine. Does not worsen. Now for Clay. Yeah, unfortunately, his condition has worsened and uh well not dead to the point of death he's dead shit what bad disease uh, yeah he rolled a two and uh I only rolled a three so I mean that's all it takes to die it's real bad <laughs> uh, that's that's what it takes to die when you're infected. You're not infected yet. 
he was already infected. All right, uh, we have a, a death in the city as things begin to grow worse. You wake up. Oh, well, I guess I should also mention uh, Doneski here. New icon, looting. Looting in this district. But you managed to secure some uh, added help in that area, so the situation there is, is under control as the members of the Lodge are keeping an eye on things. But in the process and in the violence, one member of the constabulary, Clay Dora, has perished. And so, on that cheery note, the party is uh, is awakening. Lithrum, Araza, and Staz, as you get up and have your uh, your first meals of the day, are you um, are you going to eat out of your food stores or are you going to buy food in uh, in town? Costs eight copper to buy something. I think I'll eat out of my okay food store. Raza or Lithrum? Uh, I'm going to eat out of my food stores as well. Okay. Um, Raza, what about you? I think you you skipped a meal last time, so it's it's time to to feed your stomach. Uh, um, eight coppers for a meal here in town, or you could eat something out of your bag. I'll eat something in town. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so mark off eight coppers as you purchase the ever increasingly priced food. Um, and yeah, the party wakes up. You gather in the tavern where Staz had been staying, uh, which is run by uh, Yun and Iko, uh, who both seem well, but they inform you that people have been uh, getting sick in the district now as you get up and they don't know who all's who all's unwell but they know that it's it's spreading it's getting worse and so you have a chance to discuss and decide what your first first deeds will be today if we are able to do one last dissection i think we can probably i think we're close to finding the source yeah, I think we got it today. Uh, other than that, I... Oh dear. Probably stop some looters and... I don't know. Distribute as much fireweed as we can. Uh, Raza, do you have anything to add? Sorry, what was the question? I stepped away from my computer for a second. Oh, no, just uh, the three of you were talking about what you wanted to do with this today. Oh, I'm going to try so and find soon. that the fireweed plug. The big fireweed dealer guy, right? Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, so Raza agrees with uh, with that suggestion from Staz. Uh, so, given those are the uh, the initial tasks, um, are you splitting up to do those things? Like uh, Lithram and Staz, are you going to do the dissection? What if you do that while Raza talks with um, with Bucknell about fireweed distribution, or or what? Uh, I think so. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, that Lithram. Lithram. And Stas, you head into the Doneski district and get access to uh, another body. While Araza, you head over to Harvey Bucknell on the outskirts of the Heart district. And uh, Lithram, Stas, if you will go ahead, uh, what are you um, uh, what are you dissecting? What's the goal here? You've checked lungs. You've checked uh, heart and brain. The stomach. Stomach? Okay. The stomach. Alright, yeah, so you go to extract the stomach. Go ahead and roll me your wizard's apprentice roll intelligence check. Woo. Yeah, the stomach seems to be a very corrupted organ. It's it's clear as you're tracing pathways, comparing what you saw before to what you see now that uh, the stomach is the the first place to go, the heart of the infection. This is not good. Uh, would it be not beyond the realm of possibility to maybe infer that this is something that's been ingested? And since it's not water, it's probably food. Well, it appears so. We we have to we have to get to the 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 leaders and be like, yo, stop. Everyone just stop with the food. We need and we need to get new food because that's not gonna have to help if we say 
throw out all your food. With that disturbing realization, uh, are you heading straight to the Burgermeister, or are you going to meet back with Raza first? Um. Well, should we split up? One of us go to the Burgermeister, and the one go to get Araza or find uh, tell Araza. Game for this plan. Um, what me do? Would you rather have me, me go to the Burgermeister? Or would you like to uh, break the news? I don't know if my um, y- y- you're pretty good with uh, uh, like as a as a talker. So why don't you go to the Burgermeister and I'll go find Araza? Sound sounds good. Okay, bye. Oh. <laughs> I drew the short straw, did not. Oh. <laughs> uh, before we do that, let's uh, meet briefly. Araza, you uh, head out to this riverside warehouse out of which Harvey Bucknell works, and uh, you uh, go up, and as you do so, there's a man out front who um, sees you. Uh, he's a reg- human man. Uh, Somewhat unfortunate facial hair. He sees you and says, Ah, then. Um, sorry, uh, we are, um, well, uh, uh, sales are maybe uh, suspended for today. Uh, the boss man is a bit under the weather. Fuck. Ah. Uh, sorry, I know you, you were really looking forward to it. Uh, we'll get so, we'll, we'll take care of you soon. Sorry, Harvey is not doing so well right now. He's, okay. Well, first and foremost, I have to ask, does Harvey partake of his uh, supplies? Uh, uh, well, I think he's uh, occasional to ensure good quality. Okay, well, he needs to up his intake. Uh, that will cut into profits, I'm sure. Uh, if he dies, I don't think he's going to care about profits, do you? Uh, if... He's going to die for lack of fireweed. Yep. You heard me. I think maybe I should take you in to see him. I think so, too. (laughs) And uh, you're brought in, and uh, Harvey Bucknell is dark-skinned, flamboyant hair, nicely dressed, and uh, he is sitting on a couch, reclining a little bit. He looks up and says, Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I I thought I said no. And he comes over and says a couple of things. And he looks over at you and says, All right, well, uh, they're telling me it's important, so shoot. So as um, as Araza begins talking, she's just going to be rolling up for him. Um, Okay. So we've basically determined, we, I say we, not really me. Other people have determined that this uh, illness, for lack of a less frightening term, yeah, it's going around. It's is uh, kind of crazy fast, you know. Yeah, and I'm I'm I don't know how much you know about this. I mean, I don't know if it's what you have. But I'm just gonna assume for a second. Um, I'm sure you know what the final phase of this particular illness is. I mean, I've heard a few things. It, right. It seems it, it's got a phase after you after you lose the fight. Yeah. So we've possibly <laughs> arrived at not quite a cure, but at least some level of course of treatment. Um, and we found that consumption of fireweed can be quite helpful at stopping things from progressing. Really? So, on that note, and then she's gonna hand uh, it. I, yeah, he... Uh, snaps his finger, lights it up with a little minor magic, and uh, takes a drag. Well, uh, to uh, to your health, then. Uh, uh, all right, all right. So uh, it's uh, it's not a cure, but it, it helps. It 
helps. Now. All right. I well, I got to do some marketing then. I think I. I well, think that was going to uh... be, be my next thing. Is that if you want to decide to be the type of person that you know over inflates price and becomes a crisis profiteer by all means you could um but i would make the argument that the end result of how this might completely ravage garakin might end up being such that if you're not responsible with how you distribute your product there will be no garakin left to market to so, bearing that in mind, I'd like to discuss with you how much of your product you have, what kind of shipping and supply you might get in the not-too-distant future, and price. Well, I, I think I can figure out some of those things on my own. I, I think what we need to do first is... Now, wh who's we? You keep saying we. Yeah. Who, who are we? We are a combination of a lot of different forces, part of which is... Any of them official? Uh, yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, well, how official? What are we talking? <laughs> how... Is fireweed like a... Uh, illegal substance it here? It is a controlled, a controlled substance. A controlled substance. Okay, well... But not illegal. I... Yes. A portion of our collective efforts are run by the more highly official, i.e. law enforcement, and I feel I don't need to tell you what it might mean for your continued business for law enforcement to favor your product rather than maybe trying to limit its distribution as much. Uh, give me a charisma check. You can add volcanic eruption profit as the fear-mongering of uh, impending disaster is something that is, surprisingly enough, in Araza's wheelhouse. Oh, dear. You've, you've given some speeches before about how everyone's going to die. <laughs> okay, yeah, as as you start to say this, all right, I, I I hear what you're saying. You're saying it's it's bad, right? Like Yeah. People don't people don't get this and and uh, maybe it gets worse. All right. I Yeah, totally. You're also saying that it's official and we the law enforcement, including yourself, say that this will help. Yeah. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna slap on my boat. Big paint job, big sign. Buy your fireweed. Cures the disease. No, you're not gonna do that. And, well, people gotta know. I mean, otherwise they're not gonna come. I just told you it doesn't cure the disease. I told you it was a treatment. Are you, has uh, this illness addled your brain uh, off? Treats, treats the disease. Treats the disease. See, of the constabulary. Uh, Approved. By the constabulary. Uh, I, honestly, I'm not gonna like lie and say like, no, don't do that because Araza really doesn't give a shit. Like, she really doesn't care if this is the sort of marketing he decides to pursue. Like, that really doesn't make that much of a difference to her. To her, the most important element is getting it distributed to as many people as possible. And I just want to make it clear that, like, if you start marketing like that, wealthier individuals are probably going to try and buy all the shit up and leaving the poor communities without as much access to it. And if that's the case, then the poor communities, which are already being disproportionately affected, are still ultimately going to be a hub of all this disease and are still ultimately going to end up transmitting it to everybody else and nobody's going to win. All right, all right. Uh, how about this? It's first come, first serve. No, no. But I'll start. No. I'm going to start an infected district. Rich people are going to want to come through an infected district. Okay, first come, first serve, but starting in... But start, starting here, yeah. Starting in the heart, starting in Donetsky. Uh, rolling up through there. Uh, stations where people can buy all along and 
first people in line got to be the closest ones. And they'll all see that advertising long before those rich people do. Does Araza know what kind of budget the powers that be might be willing to, like, allocate to purchasing? Probably not at this point. So, yeah, I would say that she she probably doesn't know what kind of budget she could offer to try and purchase and distribute on behalf of the the government, but then she would have to go to them and say, hey, I made a deal on, on your behalf. It needs your signature. <laughs> Which... I mean, technically, we are the constables now. Kind of. We're deputies. Yeah, but if all the not deputies die, what does that make us? Uh, town rulers? <laughs> De facto leadership? Yeah! By the time everyone's dead, we, we, we can count ourselves as mayor. So, I... You're in charge! I would love to figure out an answer to that, to see whether or not there is sort of a larger deal that could be made so that we could have a little bit more autonomy over how it's distributed. Mm. But I don't have an answer for, like, how much money would be, you know. I don't know if Garakin, like, is the nature of this food shortage <clears throat> just that it's an orchestrated attempt at basically poisoning all of us and that's why we can't get our hands on any? Or is the nature of the food shortage kind of that Garakin doesn't have that much money to be able to to buy a bunch of food. The nature of it is that Garakhan is a town that is not entirely self-sufficient. Um, it has things that are valued to the outside world, like the fireweed, for instance. Um, but it, the, its population is larger than can be sustained in the surrounding terrain because it's not the most uh, agriculturally viable terrain. Uh, the sort of mountainous foothills that, that we are in. So essentially it relies on getting those shipments of food. The shipment didn't come, which drove prices up, and then it only ended up being half. So it had been several, uh, it had been a, a couple of days that they had not gotten what they were expecting. And so prices went up because they're going through their stores faster than anticipated. Okay, so <clears throat> does that same sort of logic follow with fireweed as well? Like the land isn't really tenable enough to be able to grow that as a crop either? And so we're no. relying on imports or is that something that can be grown? That That is grown here. And that's part of what has allowed the town to grow to this level of profitability is because it is one of it, the kind grow it. It's a somewhat rare outside of this region. So there's a good bit of it. Um, okay, so d is that to say that this guy, what's his name again? Harvey Bucknell. Harvey Bucknell. Is that to say that the Kine are his suppliers? Yes, he negotiates between the Kine and the town. Okay, so really I'm talking to the middleman right now. Yeah, to a certain extent. Well, what the fuck? Why didn't I just go to the kind and negotiate with them? I got way more sort of ties to that community than I do to this guy. You, yeah, you could definitely get more more supplies from the kind. Um, All right, having... well then I'm just honestly gonna tell him that is that like I have way more links to the kind, and if you make this difficult, I'll just go to them directly and cut you out. I just figured. Sure, you know, sure, I sure. I mean they. You're established here already. If you want, they've to... got supply. I've got distribution. Yeah. That's... So we're all in this thing together. I I'll start doing exactly as you said. You you figure out if if the government wants to buy some up, ration some out, make supplies last. By all means, arrange something. Bring me an offer. How does? In the he... meantime, I'm gonna start selling. How does he seem in his... Does he seem just as, like, an opportunist, or does he seem like he's lying? I... Well, let's do a wisdom check on that. Um... I don't fucking know. I don't know. Maybe he's, uh, <laughs> Maybe he's an opportunist. He's, I don't know. It's 
entirely possible. He could be either or both. Or neither, which would be surprising. Uh, but you just, just, you're not sure. Just to clarify, because he said, I'll do exactly what you said. I want specific words to define what he plans on doing next. All right, all right. Sure. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint my boat. Fireweed. Proven treatment. Oh, as well as some locations where people can buy. Okay, and where are these locations first going to be? The Hard and Doneski is where my base is anyways. I just want to make sure... Well, I don't know if I even want to... I feel like first it needs to be distributed to the individuals that are already presenting as ill. Like, certainly there needs to be a sum brought to this uh, clinic and everything. Mm -hmm. Because if very important town people start to die, things are very quickly going to fall into chaos and that's not going to be good for anybody. So is there some way that it can be arranged that first, like, more critical cases receive necessary treatment and then, you know, it be made more readily available to the public? Give me, give me some names. I'll make sure to stop by there. We know if, if there's a viable customer. All right. So, I don't know how far to proceed. I feel like we don't have that much time, so I'm just like, fuck it, make it happen. Yeah, and you don't know necessarily who all is sick yet. You know the people who were sick yesterday, so you can tell them, you know, he, he needs to get some to the clinic. You can tell them that uh, Philarin is, is ill. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Some of these others, it happened overnight, so you're not sure who all is ill just yet. Um, okay. But yeah, so yeah, so you start, you get the wheels moving on that uh, with the possibility of talking with the the town and getting some, and uh, then some purchases. Yeah. I do want to make it clear to him that like my next step is just going directly to the time, probably, and figuring out more sustainable uh, long-term supply sure at, a, thing. at a reasonable price. All my prices are reasonable. I don't know why, but I doubt that. It's perfectly reasonable if otherwise you're gonna die. <laughs> and, uh... You'd like uh, that by crisis profit, dear. <laughs> well, that sounds like a dirty word to me. Well, I just feel like maybe we should call things what they are. Uh, let's jump to Staz, relating some bad news. Um, as, uh, around this time, Lithrim probably does, uh, arrive to meet with, with Araza. Staz, you head to the Burgermeister's office. Uh, she's slumped behind her desk, massaging what appears to be like a migraine. And she looks up and says, Ah, all right, go ahead. Give me the bad news. Well... I believe we've discovered the source of the disease. So that's some positive news to begin with. The, um... Well, the yes. bad news... The bad news is the source of the disease, and that is the, um... The food that was brought in that appears to have been, uh... Poisoned? Corrupted in some way? It's not entirely clear. So, that's why it's becoming so mm, problematic and widespread. Okay, all right. I... Uh, well, that's a problem. I guess I need to try and get what we can find of it out of the markets. Put word out that the constable's taken ill. His, his brother died. Uh, all right, okay. Uh, thank you for letting me know. I'll start trying to take the food out of starving people's mouths now. If, if the wealthier districts have stores and larders, it might be time to redistribute some of that. Oh. At least until we can find 
Really? I mean, uh, it's either they hole up. And and how do you hold. propose enacting this redistribution? Well, we could frame it a number of ways. One is that instead of collecting, say, taxes from them, that this would offset what is owed to the government, and would also be a sign of saving the city from, well, total collapse. So, tax forgiven in exchange for weak old food. Uh, they might bite. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> that was nice. He's just like staring at you as you say that and says, Go on. Well, the other option is to get, start distributing fireweed to as many people as possible, as that appears to be one way to slow this, slow this illness. Fireweed. Oh, right. Well, Harvey is, handles most of that. I, I guess I could send someone down to him. Um, see what we can arrange. Uh, we can certainly take that off your plate. Uh, it's more of a matter of widespread distribution. I'm sure he has his methods, but we'd certainly want to get it into the hands of as many people as possible. All right. All right, well, thanks for letting me know. I'll start working on extricating food from people and from the market. It's not going to be easy. It's and not it's going not to going to be fast either. But anything we can do that slows this thing, the better. At least your your companions should be returning soon. Uh, uh, well, assuming their mission went well. Return, yes. I would hope that they do. However, I you think I, would, I suspect that it will be without the goods that were set to be delivered. Um, if one cart was poisoned, there's no reason to doubt that the second one would not be poisoned as, as well. Who poisoned it? If, it? if it's been poisoned, how did it happen? When was it poisoned? Where was it poisoned? <sighs> I suspect... I can't imagine the orcs would poison it, considering that they were trying to steal the food in the first place. That would then come down to its source, where the so food originated. Someone, someone in the Empire <coughs> wanted to kill off an Imperial town. Sounds well, about right. Considering that Grey Charlie had letters from the Empire, it does not seem totally out of the question follow up on this try to find the exact answers because I've seen crises before if we don't have an answer to give them people will come up with their own they will find a scapegoat and that's not going to turn out well for anyone <sighs> so word is going to get out when we start confiscating food that the food is the cause and then people are going to want blood. Find the right answer so that we can get that under control. We'll do what we can. Good. Well, it looks like you're going to be on the payroll for a little bit longer then. Let's see. Uh, would 15 coppers be enough to keep you doing what you're doing? Uh, for me? I think that will be sufficient. Um, All right. Good. In that case, uh, she goes, she draws out 35 coppers and, uh, sorry, 45 coppers and says, for yourself, for the hasty wizard and, and yep. for, uh, for the uh, badger wielding, uh, well, yes. you you know, I'm sorry, the, the names. 
It escaped me. Lots of people. <laughs> yes. Give it to each of them. Uh, Fifteen copper for each of you. I thank you for your efforts. Um, now, actually, I suppose the next thing would be to start, uh, would be to test some of the food. <laughs> to see if we can't isolate some of the corruption and perhaps land on a chance to reverse it. Sure. I'm... Do the work you need. I assume you have some food to test? Um, I think I might have a scrap of fish that'll do. <laughs> but, yeah, I think so. Yeah, you, you did purchase the fish after that had arrived. So yeah. the fish is, is possible, and more is arriving as we speak. And so, Thorold and Kitty, you arrive with a caravan of food. Uh, uh, so before we... <laughs> yeah, and what do you do with said caravan of food as you arrive? I'm sort of thinking, should we burn it before we get there? <laughs> uh, yeah, we should probably. But we want to save some pieces for study. I yeah, save some we pieces have... for study, but yeah. Yeah, it's got to burn. We got to we gotta ruin it. It can't be treated. It's not worth it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you take... Plus piles of food and burn them outside the city. Anyone who sees you doing this right outside thinks you're a monster. On the, it takes on the them road, a day. Sure. It, it takes them a day. It's, it's taking them a day. You could have done it at any point during the day. Yeah, I would say far enough from the orcs and far enough from the city so that way we don't have to risk either one um, coming and snatching food while we're burning. You know, okay. out of sight of both. All but we right. say take like one or two of each thing. To get studied. Okay, yeah, so you've got a, a sampling and as you arrive back with with no food um, and no me, coin. Let me do the talking now. I want uh, sure thing. Do you, you he stands to? on yep. top of the burnt food to say, do not touch. This is bad. Um, you arrive back in town. Yeah. Where do you go to? We better go to, uh, yeah, the head of the city. Yeah, you head in, you see a, um, Stars already there. As you arrive, Stars, you turn to see Thorold and Kitty walking in. And then uh, she looks up and says, And speaking of the devils, Thorold, Kitty, I trust things went acceptably with the orcs. I don't see a chest full of coins. A lot of things I don't think have gone well. Um, the uh, when we got to the orcs, uh, m most of them had been wiped out, either from the uh, same zombie uh, undead plague that we've been dealing with, or being killed by said undead. We, from what we could tell, we think the food was the cause of it. Um, so I don't think they knew about the food cart, um, at least when they were, while they were eating it. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't have stolen and eaten the thing that killed a chunk of them. If it helps, hopefully in the next few days, I did manage to find one of the orc leaders and agreed to try and buy what food we can off them. So hopefully we can get some to resupply. But otherwise, no, we weren't able to get secure the initial food. Someone's that's, tampered with it. That's complicated politically, but hopefully we can keep it quiet. All right. Well, and hopefully they're good to their word. As we could certainly use the food. All right. Well, thank you for dealing with that matter. Yes, uh, I hope it was all right that I made the, uh, the uh, following deal. I felt it was more important to get the uh, food quickly. Uh, start trying to secure alternate food quickly then uh, wait yes. to do message a tag sure I think that's probably the best decision I just need to be a little discreet in how we how we handle this I haven't heard back from the Empire yet but I would expect word from them before too long as uh, we sent those tags to them as well as a report on the theft well 
probably a little consolation, but for what it's worth, the uh, Orc tribe responsible for uh, the Dragon Empire deaths, they were the ones wiped out by the by the food they had stolen. So, uh, uh, depending how you sell it, either the reprisals are not necessarily possible, or probably better to sell it. Reprisal had already been te- had already happened to them. So, uh, well, it still leaves us no closer to knowing how exactly this happened, but it's at least good to be able to rule out a possibility. Uh, I'll join the rest of my colleagues, try and put our heads together to work this out. Yeah, so stars, as they reconvene with you, you have a chance to (laughs) let them know what you discovered. Um, and likewise, they can let you know what, uh, what they discovered as you all gather up to reconvene. Um, is there anything in particular that anyone would like to tell each other uh, as you as you regather? Uh, obviously, I bring, you know, I give everyone a cliff note. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the, the short yeah. version of what all happened, uh, um, Stas, and you, you can kind of tell them about the fireweed that Araza determined was a possible way of mitigating symptoms and... That's good. Yeah, we're probably going to have to work out some sort of food rationing for the time being. Uh, just trying to keep everyone alive until uh, we find a better source of food, mm, food for the time being. Um, if anyone asks, I I might have oversold how many orcs were killed due to eating bad food. Because um, I thought that would probably be a uh, safer diplomatically. I figured I'd better let you guys know. As you are traveling through this district, and, uh, and I uh, whisper that to them, I don't. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, what's the next? We'll say step? it when we say it in a secure spot. Uh, we should probably try and test some of the food. Yep. Maybe. We've got to work out how. We also need to work out who tampered with it. Clearly, it had to happen before the orcs stole it, uh, which means it might have happened, could have happened somewhere further in the Dragon Empire, which is a bit of a scary thought. It's the next task: the group deciding to take some of that food and try to test it. As you are heading to a place where you can do that, you, at this point, you're traveling through infected districts, and you hear some sounds of fighting, uh, some crying out for aid. You gotta help out. You gotta try and save the people as you hear the voices crying. Oh, uh, definitely uh, the sm- uh, smart people who can test food. I'll leave that. I'm happy to leave that to you. I'll try and keep the peace. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's hard to split off with the group. <laughs> or at least, might, you know, start at that direction. It might take all of them. After the last scuffle that we had, I think it will take more than a few of us to put... As long as none of you stops me from being myself. If I get angry, just let me be angry. Right. As we're, we're, just tra- we're just trying to scare them off. K- killing people can be scary. <laughs> yes, it can. <laughs> the dead... Unfortunately, dead things have a tendency to come back here. And that oh, is God. what appears to be the problem, as you notice a group of people hold up, uh, including one of them who is a um, one of the people you had recruited to help maintain order. It seems this particular area got a, a bit of a snowball's effect. One infected person killing another who then rises, and so you've got a situation where uh, several people are holed up having barricaded themselves in between a couple of buildings while a number of the uh, of the risen dead are attacking and i will go ahead and say roll for initiative god damn it so you rolled well you're saying Oh, that's a lot of rolling. All right, Raza, go get him. <laughs>